Ethan, come on, you can come in. We've seen the ultimate cut. We know that Batman v Superman is a good movie. Oh, I know. I can see your Superman shirt from here. Hey, I'm Jonathan. And I'm Ethan. And we're here to review the new spy espionage movie, Jason Bourne. Mm -hmm. Now, before I say any of this, I've always been a really big Bourne fan. I've loved the original trilogy. Not so much uh, Legacy, mm -hmm. but overall I've always had a lot of fun watching these movies. I have a lot of nostalgia. I grew up with the Bourne series, and I just really, really wanted it to be the best. Alright, now while, while you're on that side <laughs> of the spectrum, I've never watched any of these movies. You had to literally sit me down on your couch to watch them, and I thought they're fine. You know, I've never, like I said, I've never been the biggest Jason Bourne fan. I thought they're fine spy action thrillers. I'd never really cared for these you have movies. To admit they've had their great moments. Though. They had their good moments, and it was cool. But I always thought they were just fine movies. Nothing too special about them. And that's, well, I mean, that's what I think about this one. I don't know. What do you, what do you think? You know what? I had a lot of fun with Jason Bourne, and I remember reading uh, in another review that someone thought that this movie feels like uh, a best hits highlight, but the fan, okay. but the the band's heart isn't in it, into okay. it anymore. Okay, I, I, I see what they're talking about. And I can understand what they mean by that, but I have to say, regardless, Jason Bourne is just a really fun movie, and if you're into spy espionage stuff and you just wanted more of the same then you're probably going to really enjoy this movie like I did, because I just really wanted to just see Jason Bourne do Jason Bourne. Yeah. I just want to see Paul Greengrass do his thing. I want to see Matt Damon do his thing. And, and to their credit, I think they actually, you know, even though I didn't care for most of the movie, I think they absolutely brought a lot of the Jason Bourne that I liked, and the Greengrass, well, for the most part. Greengrass-isms. I liked Jason <laughs> Camp for you. <laughs> did not like that. Didn't like it. Anyways, the performances in this movie across the board I thought were all really good. Yeah. I really enjoyed Matt Damon, of course, uh, Tommy Lee of course. Jones. I really like the addition of Tommy Lee Jones. I like his addition to the cast. I like he was the, the government agent. I don't know if they were... Did he replace anyone in the movie? No, no, no. He, okay. he was a new character. Okay, well, regardless, I really liked him. That being said, I didn't really care for Alicia Vikander. She yeah, was just kind of... I thought she was very replaceable. Right. And while, of course, she had an important character, I thought they could have had anyone. Regardless, she it was a fine performance, but I don't really care for her, really. I mean, great actress. But I understand what you're saying there. I can also say that Julia Stiles was good in it for right. what she was. Right. The one thing that this movie gets right above everything else is its action. Yeah. For sure. And yeah, while I personally have a problem with the green grass shaky cam, and I'd rather have a more visible movie, and that's more of a directorial choice, I still really enjoyed all the action that this movie had. There was a lot of driving sequences that were really cool, uh -huh. and all the fights were still really cool, even though I can't see I, I'd them. I'd say that he toned it down a little bit okay. compared to Ultimatum's major fight, which I would say was the Africa scene between him and Desh. Right. Uh, in this scene, we also have something similar, but I thought it was a little bit more clear-cut, and I thought that Greengrass perfected that style of shaky cam fighting. If you're going to use shaky cam, you're sure. going to use it like Paul sure, Greengrass. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, like you said about the car chases, there are some spectacular, oh, yeah. spectacular stunts in this movie. Yeah, the um, even the opening, the opening scene. Oh, great! The opening scene is awesome, and the finale, or once they get to the tech convention, it gets great. It's that's where the movie starts to pick up the pace a little bit, and I start to enjoy it a lot more. And maybe that's how it should have been the entire time. Maybe so. If I have to say, there's one major flaw with this movie, in that it's not that compelling. Mm. Like, for, for example, in the original trilogy, Bourne had a reason for doing everything that he was trying to do. He was trying to figure out who he was. At this point, we kind of already knew he was. And he Jason Bourne was. already knows who he is, so why is he doing the things that he's doing? And it was really the reason to get him back into the game, so to speak, was just kind of out there. Like, you really didn't need to have that explanation. You could right. see that there could there's a story there to be told, but it wasn't necessary, and I just didn't feel as emotionally invested as I had in previous Boy, moments. you're telling me. I was barely emotionally invested in this at all. I mean, like I said, I I was talking to someone else about this. I kind of never really cared about the story. I can understand. I never really cared about most of the characters except for Jason Bourne. He's the most compelling out of all of them. So when I personally just watched this movie that I don't, again, don't really care for that much, it really starts to become a bore. Until, I would say, halfway through this movie when it starts to pick up, that's, that's, really, that's where it got me. 
So Ethan, all in all, I really enjoyed Jason Bourne. If I have to rate it myself right now, I'd say the action was great. The performances were really good. I love uh, Paul Greengrass's directing style. And uh, it was just a lot of fun for Bourne fans. Sure, it wasn't as compelling, nor was this sequel really necessary. But nonetheless, this was an awesome popcorn flick. And at one that, point, and that it is. That it is. At one point in the movie, the entire audience just started clapping over one particular fight scene. Oh sure. And that's what yeah. this series is all about to me, which is why I'm going to give Jason Bourne a 3.5 out of five stars. All right. Ethan, I. What do you think? Well, like I've been saying, I never really cared for the Bourne series, and I don't think this movie is going to change that for me. If there is any sequel, I don't know if I'm going to see it, except for the purpose of reviewing it. Um, but like I said, I never really cared about the Bourne series, nor this movie. I don't really like Greengrass's directing with the shaky cam in the fight scenes, although there is lots of great action throughout the movie. Um, the performances are fine, mostly Jason Bourne's Matt Damon and Tommy Lee Jones. They're great. He's a, new, he's a great addition to the cast, and it's a good performance. I don't really care for Alicia Vikander. That's all I can say about this movie. That's why I'm going to go ahead and give it a 2.5 out of 5. Ooh. I'm getting a little spicy. Salty. Getting a little sp not salty! How dare you? salty? Oh. Rotten Tomatoes on Suicide Squad. Screw those people. You're getting too meta right I now. Am. <laughs> so, all in all, guys, how would you like your review? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Please let us know in the comments. Also, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done so. Please, share the video, have your friends look at it. You can also get some really cool merch at cafepress.com forward slash dubmasters. I'm Jonathan. And I'm Ethan. Have a great day.